Hello my dear family members, if you are preparing for Capgemini and if you have questions like can I use Python, C++ or Java as the coding language, can you share some real questions which they have asked in September or in 2025 and can you share the repeated questions and can you share the technical questions from different chapters. So if you have questions like these then this video is for you. So let me just share all of these questions one by one just before that one request to you please do subscribe this channel this is free for you so please do that and support me i'll make more content in the upcoming time as well after you give the technical assessment you have to face the interview right so interview has the more weightage than the technical assessment than the all that all that assessment okay let's say the technical assessment has the weightage of 30 percent and communication assessment has the weightage of 10 percent and the let's say game based aptitude have 10 percent of weightage but the rest of the weight is is belonging on interview okay almost 50 to 60 percent so you have to prepare for the interview so i will be uploading the recent interview questions with answers so please subscribe and watch the video till the end okay okay now let me share the questions so the question is hey you ready for the future attack no uf is here with premium prep materials no need to fear cognizant accenture tcs and more We'll get you ready, open up that door. Uh, actually, I will share the first coding questions at first, then I'll share type of technical questions that 15 MCQ questions will be asked to you, and I'll share those type of questions. Okay, just to wait. Okay. The question is: let's say you are given two integers in and div. Find and print the sum of remainders given to you. Okay, and uh, the gist of the question actually these are the lines you can read by your own and let me just read the gist of the question the gist of the question is let's say this is the sample input 12 and this is the sample input 2 4 you have to divide all the number from 0 to this n number 0 to n and you have to divide by this number input 2 and you have to add all the remainders you will get okay so 0 to 12 how many numbers are there 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 you have to divide all those numbers by 4 so if i divide by 0 by 4 then the remainder is 0 okay and if i divide 1 by 4 then the remainder is 1 2 by 4 the remainder is 2 okay and this way 3 again 0 1 2 3 this way 0 1 2 this way okay so if you add the remainders 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 this way it will return 18 so 18 will be the output of this sample input output let me share the actual sample input provided to you just before that guys i want you to have the best prime materials for capgemini where you will get all the latest questions with answers all the previous year questions from it fundamentals to pseudocode to coding questions and the best part is all the recent interview experience with answers are also available there so please visit talkmate.is.techno.us the link is given in the description box or in the comment sections you can see this is the feedback of students and also you can check in the below that the students are giving a very good responses to us so please have that this will be very much helpful for you okay so what is the actual sample input that is this you can see if i divide 12 uh, from 1 to 12 by 4 and these are the remainders and if you add then 18 will be the output let me share one another sample input so that it will be helpful for you only okay so let's say i'm dividing let's say the first sample input is 10 and second sample input is 4 okay now if i divide 0 to 10 all numbers by 4 then what will be the uh, addition of all of those 0 by 4 is the remainder is 0 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 0 okay and then 5 5 1 6 2 7 3 8 0 9 1 10 2 so these are the remainders if i divide the numbers from 0 to 10 by 4 okay so now if i add all of these it will become 6 
6 and 3 so 15 will be output if this is the sample input and uh, and this is the output okay i hope you understood the task and the uh, uh, objective so if you understood then please give the answer in the comment sections this will be pretty much helpful just assume you are giving the exam right now and just open your laptop and open your compiler give uh, like write the code by your own and keep the answer in the comment sections if you are giving the right answer then i'll pin your comment and i'll show that uh, i'll show your name in the next video okay i hope you will do so okay so now let me give uh, the answers for this question so let me share the solutions just before that one confusion you all have that is you can can you okay now let me share the solutions just before that one confusion everyone has that is if you can use c++ if you can use python if you can use java or not okay let me just clear that java 100 percent available as of i got confidence i i got uh feedback from students python and c c++ right so python is 90 percent uh, people are telling it's available but in case of c++ it is not available from 100 percent students as i got feedback okay so now what you can do you have to check your email and see the clear instructions and let's just check cross verify if you can use c++ or python or not okay just be confirmed that java is 100 percent there okay now for python let me just share the answer so so at first we have not done anything in the main function just called the main functions and written implemented the main functions nothing else so at first we have taken the input from the user n is equal to int input so this is the value of 12 and div is equal to 4 let's say we have taken the input from the user okay and we have initialized the total as zero here we will add all the all the remainders okay now we are looping through all the elements from 1 to 12 we are not going from 0 because 0 is already 0 right so we are not uh, including that from 1 to 12 we'll uh, go through all those uh, number and then we'll divide them by this divisor okay by 4 and we'll get the remainder and we'll add that remainder with the total variable so for i in range 1 to n plus 1 because n plus 1 why because 12 uh sorry n plus 1 means 13 and 13 is exclusive okay n plus 1 is exclusive so that's why n plus 1 we have to uh keep the destinations now total plus is equal to total is equal to total plus i mod div i mod div i is 1 and at first i is 1 then div is 4 if i divide 1 by 4 and remainder will be 1 next time 2 by 4 remainder will be 2 next time 3 by 4 remainder will be 3 next time 4 by 4 remainder will be 0 so this way it will it will generate the remainder and it will be automatically adding the remainder with the total variable okay so total at first 0 so 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 0 this way it will keep adding and it will return 18 as the output okay and this is the very basic code i can show to you but still i have a advanced coding questions as well guys uh, this is not possible to show all the advanced questions in one video so if you want uh, to know about all those advanced questions as well then please visit topmate.is.com the link is given in the description box or in the comment section all the updated materials are provided there so please have those this will be very much helpful okay so now let me just run it for you once so let's say 12 is the input 1 and 4 is the second input output should be 18 and for the second sample input let's say 10 and the next sample input is 4 and output should be 15 as expected so i hope you understood but still if you have any confusion any uh mm, let me see then please let me know in the comment section i'll try to assist you there this is the answer in, for java if you are familiar with java then fine if not then please start learning because in industry nowadays java is the main uh, coding language they are using okay so at first we have uh, initialized the scanner class object then we have taken the input one and divisor input two from the user okay and then we have initialized the sum as zero the same way we are going from one to n uh, number and we are adding the remainder with the sum nothing else so just print that it will return our desired output okay 12 and 4 output should be 18 and as expected i hope you understood guys if you have any confusion then let me know in the comment sections and if you have any queries regarding the uh, syntax 
then also please comment down okay and let me know which content you want more let me share now the technical questions they are asking so at first you have to know few things that is for technical questions uh pseudo code they will ask total 25 pseudo code 15 uh, it fundamentals questions right so in it fundamental questions they will ask mostly questions from dsa then networking and cloud and these are the main topic you can follow for it fundamentals but still there will be some uh, questions from uh, basic computer science i mean java based questions or c c plus plus based questions but you you can focus mainly on dsa networking clouds and from dsa uh, you can focus on um pre order post order traversal in order traversal and uh, in fix and post fix and time complexity space complexity and few uh, conceptual questions as well from dsa you can focus on and from network i'm just showing you some questions which will be very much helpful for you okay you can see uh, this is the questions so let's say this uh, image has been shown to you and you are asked you are asked if this is uh, let's say this quest this image has been shown to you and they told what topology it is okay oh, and let's say this has been shown to you and they told you what is the name of this topology you have to just mention this name star topology or maze or tree or ring topology or point to point for star topology you know that central hub uh, like all the nodes are connected with the central hub for maze all the all those are connected with each other this way so if you know the concept if you know if you have already gone through this then you can answer okay this, this type of questions they are asking from networking and from networking they can ask some questions from ip ip related if you know the class and their functions like class a class b class c class d class e all of those uh like functions and their um basic questions related to uh divisions you can answer many questions from networking and from dbms they are asking few questions from er diagram and entity related uh, er diagram they will show some er diagram they will they can ask you some questions from that okay i hope you understood so please prepare accordingly if you want to know about uh, those real questions then please uh, visit topmentor.com that will be very much helpful if you have less time then please prepare through that okay so thank you for today hey you ready for the future attack no uf is here with premium prep materials no need to fear cognizant accenture tcs and more we'll get you ready open up that door